I need your advice on Samsung dishwasher troubleshooting. The S5 error code means it isn't draining properly. If the drain isn't clogged and the drain tube isn't kinked, the drain pump might have died. I get weird errors and it isn't cleaning the dish as well. Samsung dishwashers have problems cleaning the dishes unless you pre-clean them. I know some of that is standard with the water misers. Samsung dishwashers have problems leaving residue and food particles inside your dishes and cups. That happens even if it gets the grease film off the plates. What do I do without halfway rinsing them before I put them in the dishwasher? The semi-workaround is running it on the heavy wash cycle with the sanitize option on. Do I need to use a rinse aid or some special soap? Rinse aids help, especially if you have hard water. Using hot water helps too. Now I just need it to work and stay running. Their dishwashers have problems starting and then running about 15 seconds before shutting down. Then it won't run at all. I've heard Samsung dishwashers tend to fall apart right after the warranty runs out. They have very good actuaries. How is customer service? Eager to send tech support, but not willing to give you advice over the phone that doesn't require a several hundred dollar service call. Beyond offering to sign up for an extended warranty. So I need to know what I can fix myself. The E9 error code is usually fixed by putting in a new flow meter. That's assuming, though, you aren't flushing all the toilets or running the washing machine and other water guzzlers too, so the dishwasher can't get enough water. That's easy to fix by delaying when I run the unit. The LO error code usually means there is a leak, but it can also mean the sensors are malfunctioning. Or the control board. The control board replacement including labor costs about as much as a new dishwasher. Technically, getting a new dishwasher does solve your problems. Except the Samsung gets decent ratings for its appliances and they're cheap. It's like a printer, low cost up front but offset by ongoing maintenance. And then there's the smell. Like a lemon? I was going to say mold, which you offset by leaving it open to dry out and running loads with vinegar and baking soda. You can add lemon juice to that to help sanitize it. That would be better than my dishes coming out smelling like pickles and toothpaste, but any of these options are better than coming out smelling like old sneakers.